Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we've got a system and I, instead of just solving it arbitrarily and picking a random variable, I'm going to focus on z because that's what they want to know. And I noticed that these two equations, let's call this r2, our second row, r3, our third row, and this is our first row. Notice that if we subtract the third equation from the second, the x's will cancel out. Right, so let's just do that real quick. So if I do r2 minus r3, what I'm going to get is 3x minus 3x is 0x. Negative 4z, nothing to correspond, it's subtracted. But then we are subtracting a negative y, so that's plus y. And then 2 minus 16 is negative 14. Okay, so that gets us pretty close now because uh, we've got rid of x and we've got y and z. And then in the first equation, I'm going to plug in r r1 essentially that y equals negative 2x plus 14 right here right and then I'm like well oh no I'm kind of back where I started before um, and if I plug it in if I said plug in y equals negative 2x plus 14 in this spot I've got x and z again so maybe that's not right the best strategy maybe a strategy instead look at that it's just taking too long is instead of using elimination right away and adding or subtracting, just plugging y equals into here. That gets all x into our, our formula, 3x minus negative 2x plus 14. Right, I'm plugging in this chunk into this right here. right, And then I'll just solve for x. So we've got 3x minus negative 2x, that's 3x plus 2x, or 5x. And then minus 14, we're subtracting the whole thing. And that equals 16. And I solve for x. Add 14 to both sides. 5x equals 30. So divide by 5 and x is 6. But that's not our answer. We don't want to know uh, what x equals. And I guess I shouldn't cross it off. I don't know. Maybe that's also the value of z. But I want to know what x equals. So I'm going to plug x equals 6 into my second equation now. 3 times 6 minus 4z is 2. And that means 18 minus 4 4z is 2. And we'll subtract 18, both sides. Negative 4z is negative 16. And divide by negative 4, and I get 4. That's the value of z. All right, hope that helps.